Max Enkar is in the chat, by the way. He loves it. He really hates it, but he loves it when I call him out. He is the effects artist on all the God of War games up until the very last one. He is now working in virtual reality at a brand new studio. Max Enkar says, we finally got ourselves a release date. We sure do. Let me ask you a question, Max. I would love to hear your take on working with Eric, uh, the director of this God of War, as uh, uh, a director. Because you and I have both worked with Eric through the years as a wonderful designer and combat lead. The guy, I think, is is when it comes at least to combat, dude's a fucking, uh, you know, I, 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 genius is a word that's thrown around. I would say he's a savant, though, and I don't think I would be wrong. Him and uh, uh, Derek Daniels. So the question becomes, Max, are you here and would you feel comfortable calling for five, ten minutes Talk about your experience working with Eric. Not No details on the game, because I know you worked a little bit on Ragnarok, but I'm just wondering what you think about him um, as a designer director. You worked with Eric for a little bit on this game, correct? Yeah. What I think Eric's the knees bees. I love Eric. I loved working with him. Badass Eric motherfucker. Is, but how is he as a director? He's fantastic. I thought he was great. You know, just He cares so much about gameplay that I think that I mean, people are going to be in for a real treat, a complete treat, because, I mean, he is amazing. I, I, I thought he was fantastic. Nothing bad to say. Oh, yeah. No, of course. But I'm, here's yeah. what I'm curious about. Between working with him and Corey, what would you say the biggest difference, not good or bad, but just like the, the way they approach the job? What do you think the biggest difference is between the two of them? You know what? I mean, for me... I think that Eric has a very hands-on approach to the gameplay where Corey would just kind of rely on, you know, the designers and everybody else. Not saying Corey didn't have a big hand in things. Of but course. I'm just saying that Eric really, really, really seemed to um, have a big focus on those type of things. Do you think the story and because, you know, a lot of people love the story and all that stuff with, with the new God Award. Do you think the story, uh, because Eric is so gameplay centric, is still in really good hands? Like, was he handing that off to th those guys and girls to an extent that you feel good about it? Or was that maybe one of the things that's going to be not as strong with the gameplay? The story is stronger than the last one, in my opinion. Um, the story is stronger in this one than in the last one? Yeah, it's the same guys that wrote the last one that are working on this one so the writers really haven't changed and i think that they really hit their stride and and this one is in my opinion a, a stronger story that's that's just my opinion that that's fantastic that's excellent to hear um a lot of a lot of interesting things in this one what about how can you, I, I don't want any spoilers but how how do they deal with the fact that when atreus comes out as gay or bisexual sorry how is that dealt with is that gameplay like a mini game or is that like a cutscene? i have no comment uh-huh you know it's gonna happen that kid is day as gay as the day is long maxwell and you know it you uh, got you goddamn yeah. know it and and he's going around and, and, and kratos is like boy get over here and kill the ice giant and he's like i'm gonna fucking march in the fucking pride parade first you old bitch that's what that's a line from the dialogue you know that right Say anything. Oh, you I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I know you won't. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I think it's great. Maxwell, thanks for calling, buddy. You're doing well. The new the new job? Yep, yep. Doing great. Everything's cool. All right, man. Thank you so much yep. for the insight, buddy. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. All right. There goes Maxwell. Into the evening. That is the effects artist of all the God of War games from the very first one. I want to say Max maybe worked in Connecticut too. I don't know if that's true. But no, I don't think that's true. But he absolutely, <laughs> John Flattery says, I hear Atreus is racist comment. Absolutely. He's totally, he's gay and racist. He's the, he's the Atreus, the little, the little racist uh, gay boy who lives down the lane. You got damn right. Uh, that's great news to hear, though, about, uh, uh, you know, let me, let, me, let me tell you guys something. I'm going to just say something right now, and Max can call back in if he wants to. Uh, but, okay, so when we were making God of War 1, Shannon, the producer, and I were sitting in her office. It was like a Monday, and she says, uh, <laughs> Amon says, I hear Atreus is a white supremacist. He totally is. Um, and and she says to me, she says, Max uh, came up here 
this morning and said, I, I don't see there's a game here. This was well before E3. And I'm like, fuck, really, Max? Because, you know, Max was one of the most hardcore gamers in the studio. And I was just like, oh, fuck, if we don't have Max in our corner, we're fucked. I mean, he was in our corner as a creator, of course, but in terms of, like, did he believe in the vision? And then I remember she called me back into her office eight months later. And she says, hey, I just thought you should know. Max says, hey, this is actually shaping up to be really good. And I was so happy to hear that because it took so long for the first game to really uh, come together that when Max gave it his uh, uh, blessing and then Tim Moss also said, I, Tim's British, he's, I took it home this weekend. I play it. I did. I played God of War. He was the CTO of the lead programmer. I played God of War this weekend, and I swear to God, it's a really good game. Um, and so those were the two that I was really grateful, <laughs> that I was really grateful to get.